No, no, no muzzle entertainment. Hey, yo, we're back. Well, I'm back. <laughs> yes, sir. <coughs> Mike Rocks is gone, so this is going to be a dope episode. Sean Smoke, Smoke Screen Visuals, we have a very, very, very special guest in the building. My brother, my personal best friend in the world, uh, Gordon Lloyd, is it? Is a is a real life guest right here on the Normal Zip Podcast, man. I'm glad to have you here. Good to be here. What's going on, bro? Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me, D. Yeah, they have I like your shirt. They, like they go back and they got pictures in like bathtub naked together. It's fucking. That, I, don't dude, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't know why he's getting these pictures. Maybe he's in my secret stash. I, I've never seen him. Though. I don't know. I might have posted got... a couple like that weren't naked though. I don't think. <laughs> but whatever, dude. I was like <laughs> fucking like, like a year buddies. old, man. Tub buddies. Yeah, but yo, yo. Also, we were like robbers and thieves. Like we would hold you up real quick. Yeah, like, we we, we got pictures with guns, all that shit. Yeah, yeah. toy guns. Man. Yeah, cool. Toy guns, but. <laughs> <laughs> White gangster boys. <laughs> yeah. Well, we didn't know anybody. We were like being dressed up by mom. Yeah, that's like, it. Yeah. So he, he had a cowboy outfit at one point. Yeah. That's, that was a thing. Scared. Cool. Seen no films in the house too. Oh, hey, hey, oh yeah, we got to say. Yeah, yeah. like both of When you shirts. want somebody to come in and film it right. <laughs> Damn. That was it. Was a yeah, surprise. definitely shout out to Sandoz. Sandoz. I got a uh, I got a promo video out right now with Sandoz. Oh, yeah, you want to know what's going on for 2017 with me? Check that out. That was well done. That was well done. Thank you. Thank you. Did a very good Sandra job. Did an excellent job. Um, I think. I think the um, kind of makes you look the, cool. The blooper videos awesome. were even. I was like, Are you trying to say I'm not cool? I, no, I would never. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I made him look cool. Anyway. That's real. No, he, yeah. no, he's cool as hell. Oh, shit. Good person all around. All right. So <laughs> what are we rolling with today, boys? So I want to talk about OJ you, getting hold on, afraid. Let me just tell people Still real quick about everything. Gordon and Lloyd real quick. I'm sorry to interrupt. Gordon, like, is not... Stop. All right, so this is the No Muzzle uh, podcast, but, like, Gordon... Stop it. ...does... He's, like, an original artist. He actually was a student at Berkeley College. Was. He, uh... Failed out, though. Failed out because he made <laughs> bad decisions. I did too many drugs. And, but that was all... <laughs> was that a learning experience for you? Of course it was yeah. a learning experience, you know? It's one of those things you know, that, like, looking back now, I wish I could smack myself at that age. It's like, you're here! Just go! Like... Don't worry about the rest of it, you but know? Now, you yeah. kind of picked up, the though. You, you kind of restarted from scratch. Like, what, what's going on with your stuff right now? What do you got going uh, on? Um, are you going to ask? Are you going to throw me on yeah. the spot yeah. here? Yeah, right. music video coming out. Uh, I might be soon. I got to record it first. I got that. And then I'm also in your new video, which is going to be cool. I'm excited about that. Um, <laughs> well, you know, I started from scratch with doing my singing song or anything. I played saxophone at Berkeley. That's... You know, that was a different time in my life, but that's cool. Um, right now, for music, I'm just right You got a show recording. coming up, right? Yeah, I've got a few shows coming up. What's the next one? Um, the next one is for Mike Smith's return show as his Lone Wolf um, company. So, you know, he hit me up, and I was like, sure, I'll do it. Um, I tried to get Adam to go with me, and then if he wasn't going to go... I was like, I wasn't going to go, but then I was like, you know what, Adam was like, just play it by yourself. Okay, so that's August 12th, I believe. It's a Saturday at Sticks and Stones in Abington, which is an okay bar, to be yeah. honest. You know, I've walked in there a couple of times, and it's it's pretty decent. Um, but what's the one pool, that you got a two-hour two set at, though? Oh, that's that's August 18th. You got a two-hour set? Yeah, yeah. That's dope, dude. For um, was Malarkey's. It's an Irish sports bar down in... Uh, West Bridgewater, yeah, right off the highway. There. There so, yeah, it's uh, it's a brand new bar. It's pretty what cool. Are you fucking um, doing? and that's uh, <laughs> what do you got? Vape. Yeah. I'm just taking it off the camera, man. And fucking like he, like if I'm doing something like that, you've done that since episode one, dude. Like if I'm trying to take something off the camera, like while someone's talking, you always interrupt and say, "What the fuck are you doing?" Yeah, like, like your hand was in front of the lens, in front of him. Just, you know, so so I was trying to hand it to you know, back here. Tell me that. I didn't know that. Well, this is a new oh, angle oh, thing, oh, though. Oh, you want to do that? All right, go ahead. Right. I got him. So I got him. Oh, 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 left, 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 left. Oh, so right, you got a right, two-hour right, set of right, 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 yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited about that. We're going to do... I've seen you hold it down where, like... All right, so I was at a performance for Gordon one time, like where he like had your hands in front of the He had he had a um outdoor, <laughs> outdoor performance in Bridgewater, right? Right, yeah. and you like had a, yeah. you had a full crowd with like all types of people, man, like all ages, yeah, yeah, all types of demographic. And not only did you hold the crowd for an hour plus, you 
made the crowd grow. That was like fun. it was like I watched it happen, dude. It was like, it was just, it was insane. Yeah, nobody left, which was nice. I, 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 like, and people came no, and when stayed. People, yeah, when people don't leave, yeah. I'm like, what's he doing? Something? Over that okay, long, you made that crowd grow <laughs> like. My penis when I listen to Brandy Blaze's boss like me. Oh, oh shit! Oh what? shit! Like, and oh man, <laughs> that was good. Oh, when he takes my hand, I'm raw, man. <laughs> yeah, I get I'm looking wrong, forward to that. Man. I am. Oh, I am. Oh. I'm looking forward to that one. That should be that's dope. Entertaining, that's to say the least. I'm in that. Oh yeah. I play boss. I play the boss of the fucking place. Cool man. Yeah <laughs> man, that uh, that video is like a movie. It's really like a movie. Is it? Wait, well, you yeah. fuck this up, I'll uh, fucking kill you. Yeah, cool. I get to see a sneak peek. <laughs> yeah. So. Just the perks of being me. Noda. What's up? What's up? Gordon, you ready to get into this this week or what? Ready? Ready if you guys are. What? Start it off. What we got going? Yeah, we got I want to talk about OJ being free first. What, you guys okay. are recording all that? Yeah. yeah. You were recording it? We were. Yeah. Right? Oh, because he said, well, let's start this. Start yeah. the week. Oh, okay. Well, subject. Uh, keep that off the camera. Like subject D. Oh, yeah. It's, you can't say so, I don't think. Oh, wow. That, you know, we're dealing Jones with the... Jones Open Bar, Gunthug Pops, Jumpman, and Jumpman. You're like, oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get some water? You want some water? The best <laughs> meat from North <laughs> Third. <laughs> you need some water? Order. Order in the court. Order in the court. Order. 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 I need a lot of water, water for OJ. my daughter. Talking about OJ being oh. free, remember? All right, yeah. You go. Start. I, don't know. I, I can't believe this dude just... That they gave him parole. Why? Why can't you believe it? He's got money. Well, he was he doesn't have listen, money. He spent nine years in the years wrong in. place at the wrong time. They convicted him because it was so fresh after the murder. And you can't just and say because he was on trial for a murder and it was so highly was publicized, he should be guilty on, like off the bat. Just, just because of your perception that the media has given you, Derek, you think he should remain in jail. That's bullshit. You don't he know the details. He fucking killed two people. He did. According to the court, he's not guilty, though. That's yeah. true, though. Yeah. So, like, that's how well, the Robert Kardashian saved him. And you ever seen look, that documentary? Of course. Yeah. You saw that documentary called Robert Kardashian Saved Him? Where they had, like, when OJ was coming back from, um, or oh, the airport or whatever, mm -hmm. he went to his house, and his secretary is holding his airport luggage. Goes up to Robert Kardashian to dance next to him, puts it down, and they act like they're talking. He acts like he's consoling her. But they're really whispering shit into <coughs> his ear. And then she walks away without the bag. He picks the bag up, goes to the car, fucking leaves. You know what was in there? A fucking bloody suit. Hey, man. Oh, yeah? If you don't fit, you must have quit. Yeah, you get, you get right. the proof. You got That's the purely speculation. Did you see it? Yeah, I haven't seen... I don't know. I haven't seen it personally. I don't know. I wasn't you gotta watch there. It, like, I have to trust... How do you know he wasn't having to put him in a fucking system. bag of cash? OJ, dude. Fuck OJ. It could be. Could be a bunch of cash. Could be, uh... He still Good. gets $135,000 a year from the NFL, from his pension. How much? Could have been 18,000 bags of M&M's, too. You never you know. Never 135? You, like, you, like, you, you never know. I really You never, ever know. <laughs> Shout out to Johnny Brennan, the, jo the voice of the jerky voice. <laughs> yeah. I really yeah. like yeah. that guy. He made me laugh a lot. Well, yeah. my glasses and my shoes. I have warts on my <laughs> ass, as you <laughs> tell you. I gotta have them removed. They're <laughs> awful and they're silly looking. <laughs> we're getting off podcast. Yeah, we're, oh, yeah, we're getting right. off topic. Sorry, too. man. Yeah. I'm just trying to yeah, have fun hey, over here. Talking about OJ, right? Shit. So, I mean, I don't know. Like, I don't know that guy personally. I don't. I have to trust what is being told to me by what I see in media or, like, what do I believe? Do I believe that? Or, I don't know. I do you even know care? Idea. Well, that's the thing. Cause I don't even know. Right. I think it's crazy that he Why gets I that tension, and the like the Browns and Goldmans can't do anything about it. I didn't say they couldn't get a piece of that. I'm they can't they get anything. Couldn't, they couldn't take it directly from him. They couldn't the, take it away. Like, they can't. They can't because yeah. that was all a deal before the murder and everything. Yeah. So it kind of like <laughs> it's, right. it's weird. It's like well, he's free. So it's now an we'll income see what from years now. ago is how they look at it. Hey, you think Kama's is gonna catch up to him in like a really bad way? Oh yeah, he's like gonna, I think dude, that. That's why I don't care if he gets it's out. Gonna it's gonna be. Also, you gotta look at it this he's way. Get so killed in for, prison. for people my age, we look at OJ as a football hero. For you guys that young coming up, I, it was like '95. The cold case. I was like, yeah, so I was like twelve. Yeah, so I was watching it. Whether he did it or he didn't, he's still a football legend. You yeah. can't ever take yeah. that away from him. It's like a Pete Rose type person, though. But like for for people my age, we look at him a different way than you guys do because all you know him as is yeah, yeah. you don't really know him as a football hero. Really. No, I mean no, right. he grew up in that era. Yeah. Did, what year did he stop playing? Like seriously, like ninety one. Eighty. 
Eighty something. I don't know. He started doing movies in the eighties. Yeah, nineteen eighty. Hey man, that now is like American legend and will be forever like folklore, like in the annals of this he country. Did it, dude. As long as this country remains. Either way, oh, he's still yes. wicked fate with bringing him up. <laughs> you know, so he's still relevant today. So he's he's still pay up his for like you know, public. You know, he, you know, he was big like with the Kardashians people. because Chloe was so much bigger than everyone else. They were trying. Yeah, but then they hated him after. At the end, they weren't friends. Because yeah, because he, was he, he wouldn't do it. He wouldn't do a paternity test. Yeah. Because he knows Chloe is his kid. Okay. He I knows that. I didn't know that. Yeah. Know you seen his daughter, dude? Chloe? I'm going to pull up a picture of OJ's Chloe. daughter. Chloe. And then I'm going to show oh, you a OJ's picture daughter. of Chloe. I know. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. Well, you're, saying Chloe, you're saying Chloe you Nash is his daughter? Dude. <laughs> is that what you're He's saying? getting like ADHD you know like crazy, dude. You know what I'm saying? Are you saying that Chloe Kardashian is, is OJ's daughter? 100%. I believe that, yeah. yeah. I, let me show you his daughter. I don't know. I do. I I do. I did that research. I totally believe it. Jesus Christ, Lord! Gordy, fuck up, dude. That was bad. Yo, everybody at Thirty Rack. No, are you gonna play softball tonight? No. Wow. It's irrelevant to the podcast. Let's get back on. Sorry, we all know what Chloe Kardashian looks like. Let's just move on. We know what she looks like, but yeah. Do you know what his daughter looks like? Everybody knows what all the fucking look at Chloe, but not even his serious dude. Look at the comparison. They're identical. They are. Yeah. They're close. They're very, very close. I would say they're well, too, too close, close. Can we get this on yeah. camera? Too close for comfort. She's just fat, that's all. Nah. <laughs> no. You can always count on Sandal for that. She comfort. has the fucking OJ forehead. The OJ forehead? That? Look at that. She five got an eight head. head. Look at the OJ forehead. It's five a straight head. five head, yeah. A little bit. Wow. A little bit, little bit of a five head. Look at the fucking cheeks. Yeah, Tyra Banks. Wow. She, got, she got eight head. Same in death. Tyra Duck got a bad head. She got an eight head. I blow loads all of it. All she has day. a black person. Oh, oh man, so there's so much more space. It's like going from like a gym to a big field of soccer. Like, listen, you got a bunch of front right, ones look at going this. on tonight. <laughs> hey man, hey, why are you doing that? I want to uh, let everybody know that the No Muzzle Cipher Volume X featuring Rex, Boston legend, Mike Ross, Donnell White, Profound, Hush Harding, and J Cell is coming very Piper soon. Sells. And uh, you guys really. You gotta get hit, but if you haven't seen the normal disciples either, man, check out volumes one through nine. X is dropping very soon, and there's three or four Connecticut volumes already too. People are working, people are busy, and Rex is Rex is Rex got busy. You really Sando? Yeah, yeah, Rex yeah, got busy. Man. That for us. Everybody, everybody that, got busy. Everybody on in that, that cipher, there's no there's no uh, no dead ones in there. You know who's you know you know I fuck with everybody on that cipher. But I want to shout out Profound for, like, actually, like, on the ciphers, like, for each time, like, he, like, he entices me every time with his lyrics, man. Like, he he comes proper on his delivery, and everybody does, too, but Profound has kind of stuck out to me, man. I just want to shout out Profound. He's been shining recently. Dude. Yeah, he's been shining recently. He did shout out to dope him. on the um, podcast I was on. I yeah, we got a couple, uh, of, we got a couple of videos in the works. I, I did that I'm cipher with him. Indy, too. Indy's, Indy's, Indy's an incredible artist, bro. But, yeah, man, so what's next? What do we got going on? Shaq? Sure. Dude. Some damn transgender. No oh, way. Yeah. Oh, Trend my yeah. favorite kind of people. So, so wait, what? What happened? Just something about it. So he banned it? <laughs> I'm not even sure like what's going on. Like, he completely banned it? Or is he making a yeah, motion? No, he, no, he didn't ban anything. He made a tweet. And that doesn't change a lot. When a president I just didn't... tweets something, <laughs> nothing changes. No, are we sure I didn't that realize no. that there's only oh, 6,000 transgender the troops in the military. I didn't either. I didn't know that until right now. What? Troops, yeah. like you really want to give up six thousand people? You know, that's what I'm saying. State of draft. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Yes, you're going to win state of draft. Yes. And if you so vote for Trump, or you on. wanted to oh. vote for Trump, you should be the first ones drafted. Remember if there's a draft. camera on your right, man. Time and this whole thing, thing about oh, cut, I don't want cut, somebody on the front cut. lines of me that can't make a decision about their sexuality. They've made their decision. Right. It's it's final. I don't die now. I don't think that. Yes, but the whole thing is they need to take. Pills every day, at, like, uh, what do they call it? Um, it's like being on the hormones. Like, they have to be on hormone medication every day. They don't get this shit, the body fucks up. That's like having someone with HIV and AIDS. They need to take medication every day, or they get. Provide that. It's hundred percent. 
That's why they banned them. That's like <coughs> that's, the, that's the whole so thing. So provide that medication well, they, for them. What's the right. You're supposed to con, the mil, you're supposed to conform. To no, the they said you that it was going to be military. Somebody in the military with diabetes, you provide them with the insulin, don't you? It was well, an easy way for the them to group and section a demographic and cut a cost. It's, that's all they were doing was cost I'm cutting. Sure you can't way. be in the military if you have diabetes. Well, and <coughs> they like can't be in the military if you have distractions in the media. But how much conversation like this. Military, you have apple but, yeah, but how much shit do they come out with after even going in? You know what I'm saying? Like with the PTSD and shit after that? Like, and Listen, I'm man, come back? I know that's the argument. Programs. How do they like, get, you know, then they don't take care of me the way. Yo, we so, gotta stop over talking Because then they, you got, you know, we got yeah. people who are um, veterans. It's like, Homeless. Like, okay, where are they now? Why are they yeah. freaking yeah. out? Yeah. They got a video coming out dealing with that same thing. Really, dude? Like I know people I know people that came back from overseas. <laughs> they know, they, they were on this anxiety medication. Still going strong. And they're supposed to have, the normal amount is 0. 0.5 yeah. milligrams. Three, 30 and split it 15, 15 on the clip. That's right. You gotta stop over-talking each other. Good. They, they had, uh, I've had a friend come back from, I've had Pete Muffle, you know, come back from overseas. And they had anxiety medication. And they had 0.5, you're supposed to have 0.5 milligrams. That's the average thing for people. They were only 75 milligrams. Of so they were like medicine? a zombie. Right, what kind of they stopped taking it? it and they compared it to heroin withdrawals. What medicine was it? Yeah, what kind of medicine? I forget the name. Look it up. Estrogen. I need some. Estrogen. Oh, so it's, it's not, for the transgender people, is what yeah. you're saying? Oh. Is they it's for PTSD. That? It's oh, like PTSD. a. PTSD. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. And, uh,. But it's basically like an anxiety, Whoa. antidepressant kind of thing. But if you have too much of it, you're fucking retarded. Huh. And he said he was like a zombie walking around. Yeah, maybe it's like a benzo thing or something. I don't know. Yeah, so they compared it to heroin withdrawals. That sucks. That's okay, they just trying to create customers anyway. Yep. What's on to the next? What do we got? We still got to talk about the transgender shit. Balls. Imagine oh. being in... Oh, yeah, wait. We didn't finish that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think... Mine's everywhere. Dude, Go I don't ahead. think it's going to even... Uh, like, manifest into anything. Have you ever talked to a transgender? Yeah, I have. Maybe, Half of my customers were yeah. transgenders when I used one to time, say. One and time, And did they seem I like know, their I head know, was on their shoulders? Oh, at my job. Don't talk over each other. They, uh, they walk around a lot, like, near my work. Like, you can see which ones are it. And, like, I feel like that came as a Maybe but you can see, maybe you can't, though. Like, when I got my hair they don't. They're, they're all human to me, dude. That's I don't... I don't want exactly. Body, they're all human, but maybe they're more depressed than you, and they can't fucking... Well, how do you know that, dude? Are you in their head? You haven't met in my head? I would, yeah, I wouldn't say that. Mm -hmm. How can you how say that? You get them based on stereotypes. I know. That's, I know that's how Trump people. thinks, dude. Listen, I know transgender people that are completely fucking happy with who they are, and love who they are. That's what I'm saying. All the regular people, just like the rest of us, they just want different parts. Like, there's not times you get depressed. I know, dude. I get depressed. You got You've been depressed, like... We all go through depression. I've never been depressed. Some life. people more severely than others. No. So, like, you've never been depressed in nope. your whole life. Sometimes I feel like a lesbian. Because you're on Prozac. You think I was serious, dude? <laughs> that makes sense. No, but I'm saying, like, yeah. I don't, I don't, know, I don't see that. I don't see that. If somebody wants to fight for our country, what the hell does it matter? Like, they just want that's customers the issue anyway. Point. They just want their... I know, but... You know what I'm saying? Like, if that's someone's willing to go into it... That's what... People look at it like you're you're just fucking infantry. But what if you're that fucking you're in the Navy SEALs and you're in that situation and then you just fucking freeze up and the person next to you the only reason they're freezed up is because they can't handle themselves in that situation. Well, then but if you were with someone else, listen. If you go through basic training, you're trained for that. They yeah. don't want to handle themselves in that situation. Exactly. It's just because they got a different sex part doesn't mean that they're not. They didn't stupid. change they the wiring of their still, dude. It's still, still a medical talk. condition, it's though. It's still the same thing. Right, so is addiction. Put it this way. If there's over mental... 6,000 in the military right now, that means that they're, they're able to do their job. Out of 6,000, I've had 6,000 of those. Ones are all kicked. Your ass, bro. Like, no they offense to you, but they're all so every day. Like, day uh, <laughs> they have to take medication every day. Well, either so? way. A lot of people do, just to get to I do, too. That doesn't you couldn't stop join the military, though, on that medication. Uh, he probably could. Yeah. Know. There's ways no. around right now. See, they want bodies. Nobody wants to be in the military anymore. They see what That's happens. That's why they're going to have to reinstate the draft. And anybody who wants to join the military, like, Trump should be the last one year. to, you know, get drafted <laughs> first. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Seriously. Yeah. I voted for RFP. So I didn't vote. I didn't vote either. I almost joined the military last year, dude. I don't sign up for the army. No, that me. You was. So close. Yeah. You never would have known that uh, me in this million years. Mm. 
Yeah. I did that this year. Do you think people have a point when they're like, oh, if you didn't vote, you don't have a right in saying anything about anything? Like, yeah. There's people like that, like, fuck Don't you. fucking bitch about it. It don't no. matter, because Are if you they didn't vote policy to approve it, it don't matter. You can say you voted and you didn't. It's all right, right, yeah, exactly. I live how I live. I don't bother you. Like, leave me alone. Yeah, man. well, dude, you can't change the world yourself, but you can inspire the mind. They can hey, man, change the world. If I can change the person minds. in the mirror, well, I hope the next person the can. The vote doesn't matter anyway because the popular vote went to to Clinton and still went to Trump. That's so what, what does I'm that saying, tell you? See? It means that nothing. happened in 2002. We give a vote when that's Bush is taken into consideration won. by that's electoral it. colleges, and then yep. they decide who they're going to vote on, and whoever's paying them the most is who they're going to vote for. Yeah. No. That's it. Yeah. Who? That's, it goes by county. Hey, no. it goes by lift that veil, D. Oh, back to lift that veil. No, you notice it every is. city has Ooh. Hillary Clinton. Everywhere else, Hillary stole had Trump. five states. Tried six. You show around the United States. It's all blue. The inside, it's all red because yeah. there's no big cities in the middle of America. All you're looking at is illusional cities. Want free handouts, so they went to Clinton. Just keep you down. They do. They want fucking Section Eight housing because it's I'm fucking hard to live in the city. Anyways, next up. You need it. And yeah, Trump's not about welfare. Right. Alright. What we got going on? Uh, Kyrie Shit. wants to be traded. I saw a thing today that fooled me, and it had Kyrie in a Lakers jersey wearing number 23, and it was, like, from, like, a semi-reliable Facebook, like, basketball page, and I was like, oh, shit, so I looked into it, and it wasn't official, but, like, it seemed like it could be, and I was like, I can picture Kyrie on the Lakers, but what would he do? And he got traded, Cleveland gave them in the trade, like, three players, but only one of them had, like, any name value plus a draft pick, and, like... For Kyrie, like <coughs> Cavs didn't make out. Cleveland, I mean, Lakers definitely would have made out, but that was a lo- that was imaginary. I guess it didn't really happen. So, I think Kyrie's gone. LeBron and him are gonna like beef. It's gonna be the new Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook type thing. That wasn't really a big beef though. Nah, but it, the NBA will turn it into it because everything's turning into the WWE. Everything, music, sports. You know what I'm saying, dude? Look at the circus going on around you. I don't know. Every other sport. Oh, people get nice. kicked out for beating their lives. Yeah. So you fucking get a trophy in WWE. You get championship belts. <laughs> yeah. For you beating your wife. Yeah, but for what? For beating your wife. What are you talking about? What do you mean? They get away with everything in Ooh. WWE. Like, as part of the storyline? Or, no. like, when things happen in, in real life? life? Like, when Chris Benoit murdered his family? Well, he killed himself. He After. didn't really have any repercussions. <laughs> Dude, he lived with the repercussions of concussions. Like, an no. untreated con- con- concussions. Concussions? <laughs> concussions. <laughs> that just went, like, way over your head. Nah. It did. All the way around. No. I, I said... I overstood. If, understood. like, people in the NFL, they get in trouble for beating their wives. WWE, they, they get, get a fucking trouble. They get fines. Yeah. They, they get, get fines and they're still in the league. league. Ray Rice, if what the fuck is If you fail a drug test, you get three strikes in What's Ray Rice doing right now? Making rice? Fucking going around the school saying, "Don't beat your wife." Punch you like me. Head somewhere else. Exactly. <laughs> if you punch one, you'd be punching the rest of your life. Turn WWE everywhere. It'd be a very dysfunctional. Ben WWE. Who the biggest rappers are right now? Clowns. <laughs> name the name two big rappers that are clowns. How's that WWE though? I'll, I'll tell you how. Tell me two Lil rappers Yachty. that are big. That are big or have? That, Lil Yachty, Lil Uzi. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, those two. What do you see when you look at either of them? Oh. Fucking doink the clown, dude. Yeah. And maybe even Dink. <laughs> Can I see you uh, on Monster? That's a funny uh-huh. word. You got a with Dink. Yeah, yeah. You got a picture with Doink? No, I, I, I met him at Fan Fest. Monster. Monster. Uh, 11. One, two, three, kid has some of my popcorn. What up? Monster? Monster. What about it? Are you fucking retarded? Can you get my monster right next to you? Oh, that's all you got to say. <laughs> you're, you're, in <laughs> my opinion, you were pointing you at the <laughs> screen I was just like, where Gordon is I don't at. Know how you I thought you were referencing the Ray Trilogy album. I didn't know what the hell was going on. Dude. Oh, shout out Ray Trilogy. I did. That's, right, that's really, going to be a clip that's, right that's there. Right. I'm like, monster. Yeah. Monster. But to me, your point right there. <laughs> monster. Yeah. So, it's a nice day outside today. Fuck, man. Yeah, well, I would do it inside. Because it's too much wind out there. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. Loud mics, it wouldn't matter. I know. We gotta, I'm going to get game. more. Step up, your motherfucking game. What is it? Yeah, nice. Nice. Visuals. Yep. Hey, I like your t-shirt. Thank you. I'll be happy you to draw well. visuals from your fucking name. That's what I'll be happy. Because I'm sick of typing that shit. Two delinquent who jumped off a cliff yesterday and survived. 
It was for a video, right? Yeah, with Sean Mikes. He uh, he's considering dropping the vowels out of his name. But should be considered. <laughs> yeah, just to shorten it. I think that's the new wave of things. You shorten things. Everything's shortened. Like this. Knox got a song that's just a hashtag symbol. Oh yeah. But it means multiple but things. But it's called Tornado. Yeah, it's got a it name. Means multiple so. things. Yeah. Like pound sign. Yep. I mean that's ahead of the curve by like, a lot. I like it. I like yeah. it. It's in a, it's kind of in a Prince type fashion. Mm -hmm. where you try I haven't heard it. What is it? I didn't the even hear the. Knox. Oh, oh, no, Knox is going to be huge. Oh, okay. Now, Knox is just Knox. He does produce any raps too. He raps too. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. Knox raps. He. I mean, back when I started hearing about I him back in '06, he was rapping. Really? They yeah, had a wall. Okay. So yeah. He's well, got, I've heard then some, we're gonna we're gonna show you <laughs> something right now. Go, type in um, not nah, speech nah, content. Nah, nah. Oh, we'll do that. Oh, oh. I'd rather cool. play the Shaquille O'Neal disc, to be honest with you. Let's play That's it. a whole other subject, though. We're already on one subject. Mm. So we haven't even left that subject, but we started going into a different subject. Should already have the speech. So I don't know. Didn't want to doing this. <coughs> she has gender anymore, so. Or Trump. Are you recording right now? Yeah. Three dudes right. with ADHD, that's what happens. <laughs> uh, okay. What was the other thing Trump just did? You're on another subject already, no. there, Mr. Jumpy. SoundCloud. SoundCloud. No, we're going to talk about, yeah. SoundCloud. SoundCloud. Chance to rap on You say it like four times. <laughs> did you guys have a discussion about SoundCloud last time? Yeah. Or something? Mike Ross wanted it to fail. He wants it to fail, yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't. I, 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 no, I, I get what he's saying about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, 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 don't, I didn't know people had to pay to put shit on there. Yeah, me neither. I don't pay I attention don't. to SoundCloud like I did in 2013, yeah. though. Is yeah. Mixcloud the same way? Just type in Knox Beats. No, I'm not sure. Don't, don't find really it. Kill it. Like, I use Bandcamp, and you can get money from that, too. It puts on PayPal for you. Like, yeah. And, uh. Good about your album. It's simple. Yeah, thanks. Oh. He's like, nah. At least you're honest up there. I think you had one. It's, uh, it's an acoustic EP. It's, uh, it's I like fucking rock music, bro. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, Gordon's it's, a badass, bro. With it's music different that. kind of... It's, a, it's, a, it's like hard to describe. Like, I, I guess I'm rock, but like... You like a country know. twang A little bit. Sound? Like, some people have said that, but it's just, I think, feel like my voice but like you're actually, that. Can I say, you're, you just sound like Gordon Lloyd to me. Yeah, that, you know, that's what I've always felt like, because I'm like, I don't know how to describe myself. Yep. So, I'm just going to keep growing, though, and work on the new stuff I got. Build that catalog. Yeah, you get a Gordon Lloyd oh. promo video going yep. on. Yeah, we're going to do that soon. I get a... You know, like, I like to be prepared. I like, come film your show on the 12th, but I'll be in Jersey. Jersey. Yeah, you are. Uh, that's right. You said that. Yeah, you guys would be in Jersey. That's cool. I mean, we got the one down the 18th if you want to stop by. Uh, we'll definitely be down for that. Come around. It's on the 18th. Yeah. And, uh, I'll, shoot, I'll shoot, I'll shoot awesome. you some gas money or some, buy you some drinks and shit, too. Like, I'll pay you. Like, whatever you... Well, I mean, if you want to put together a whole promo, I'll just do a little package for you. Cool. Let's do that. It'll include me coming out to film a couple shows. Yeah. That'll work. That'll be cool. I'm interested in doing a full video, actually. Um, I want to do a rock radio video. Listen, we it's cast to be, be a, a monster, though. I'm going to tell you right now. Oh, we will be a monster. We cast to be a monster. Like, week, week. Well, his new song, week, I week. Hour. Hour, uh, yeah. Let's focus on one. Yeah, <laughs> one at a time. One, one project at a time, Mike. Yeah. And we were talking about... Not Mike. The SoundCloud. Uh, we get, do we get it out? end up on the podcast, you're up. ADHD, dude. You, you have a, like a million times worse than me. You start doing something, you just forget what you're doing. Not no beats. Not beats. Dude, look at this. Thirty minutes. The cameras are still still going. Yeah, it'll stop in about uh, forty seconds for me. Because I'm like three seconds behind on you, actually. Well, let's just start it now. We'll fucking around. We do it. The whole thing? No way. Just stop the record and re-record. What? Yeah. Cause that oh, went nowhere, but, dude. No, yeah. I know, but it's, it's we gotta redo it. It's only thirty minutes. It's gonna shut off on its own. So I'm just gonna restart it. Go ahead. Restart. What do we do? Just the video. That's right. it. That's all we're doing. All right. Okay. Cutting all yeah. this audio up, dude. Not you. You don't do shit. Hey, monster. Wait, everything out. Cool. All right. So here's the beat. Plug it in. Get these Got chords it. out. Oh my god, dude. You're telling me? Oh my god, man. I'm, I'm telling you. You gotta plug the cord in, yeah, I'm looking for it. Yeah. Oh my god. That's on the floor. Pull it in. Why are you so weak? Why are you so weak? <laughs> I think we should play that. No. No. Not mixed. No.
Nope, not airing it at nope, all. Not no. doing it. See, this is the tough thing I talk about. Just press play. I like to be prepared. So the next Spotify. song I have Let's to release, talk, dude. Um, to release for what was I gonna say? For release anything like if I'm doing a video or the next song, like I'm having seven other songs like new. Yeah, the catalog needs to, to be full and yeah. consistent. It's like, well, what else do you got? Like, well, I got that. Like, and just have it all recorded and be like, I can stop fucking. That's what I'm saying. Be prepared. Do it the right variety. Way. Don't give him anything. Leave him. Leave him wanting more. Always, mm. always just a little bit. Good I hate dropping them gems. I hate seeing people who just fucking post every day just to post something every day and it's annoying as fuck sorry I hate it like just to post shit yeah you know like yeah. alright I've seen this already I know yes you did that at one point like great what's new nothing yet it's been okay and then you're just like no I get that like stop that's why I don't do that you know yeah so Lord and Lord. unfiltered I've been I trying to not do that too <laughs> and I cut down the trolling thing stupid shit it's, you know... Unfortunately, in this day and age, though, you kind yeah, of... I'll you. Like, oh, I get it, though. Like, l like l losing relativity. You know, yeah. like... You um, gotta do... That's the way to keep up now. Because people are like... <laughs> the game changed. <laughs> like, that's chasing changed. after it. Like, yeah. it's just... No, I'm I'm gonna follow you again. trying to Hey, they call it the World Wide Web Good. for a reason, because you get... Well, I stopped because I actually didn't post. You know, every... Web, Web, So, my... All right, so, uh... What do we got? Hold on. got the beat? Before we go into it. This is Pound Sign by Knox Beats. This is his I've liked single for before. his next CD. Okay. Yes, cool. Knox is a fucking monster. Excellent. See the world burning down. One by one, it turned around. On us, we don't make a sound. Living like dogs, welcome to the ground. It's kind of like he's experimental. Tell me you don't hear Kanye in that. Well, see, here's the thing. See, I like songs that... Build. This dude, this isn't repetitive at all. See, that's what I'm saying. That was gets me crazy. Yeah. Those drums. Yeah, motherfucker. Yep, go ahead. Say it's the best beats for himself, huh? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's good. If I dropped a couple tabs like back in the day or something, like I would have been like traveling. That's true. Like, yeah, I agree. It's like Pink Floyd ish. In a way. It's very Dark Age Taylor, too. Yeah. It's that, yeah. It's yeah. very industrial. I like it. Yeah, I like it too. It's well done. I showed my dad, my dad was like, this is garbage, this is fucking terrible. And I'm like, dad, like this is like new weird shit. And he was like, this I like is it, garbage, man, I like change it. this. I'm not talking about like the music we listen He's to. He's a typical old Every generation yeah. is like that. Bro. Oh, my parents did like Soldier Story. Yeah. They really liked it a lot. I think just the message. Oh, and you said you have a... Play him never ever. Did you want to... You, you got think. a new... Right, we're too early for that. Huh. No, no, no. I like bet you've got the thing with the um, Knox Beast coming up, you said? Or the off the oh, mic? Yeah, he's, uh, yeah, we talked about it. We're definitely yeah. going to do one next time he's down in, in Boston. He's so no film? Manager. Cool, man. That'll be nice. I'll look forward to that. You going to get some Joiner footage? I don't know. I, don't I think he does all his recording with Joiner at his studio. Yeah, no. Fort Knox. Oh, Fort Knox, yeah. Because he came down, he was actually down last week with Justin Clancy and a couple of other people in Boston. Yeah. Okay. Justin Clancy, he, he put out that new song I saw. No, he's doing good. I, I, liked, good I liked it. I definitely did. Yeah, he's got he some soul. The kid got some soul to him. Got some soul to him. They, very cool, very cool. Yeah, that's, you know, like, I feel... And he, there's a lot of talent around, around man. There is, there is some good, good stuff. He's, he's also a recovering guy, too. So. Alright, we could put his personal stuff out there like that. That's good. That's what he, he does. For a living. He does. Oh, yeah? yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, he's a big, like... He posts, like, very the uh, rooms or whatever they're called, beds. Uh, if yeah, you post he flies people out. Cool. He goes to, like, if you can own that, that's right. the best part about it. Yeah. He does work. He does. He did Absolutely. the slain yeah. show, right? He did the slain no, show. He raised 175000 that show. Wow. He did? The show did. Oh, wow. With all the auctions and stuff like that. That's I, it. I donated. I auctioned on it in detail. Yeah, that's dope. That's pretty cool. That yeah, was a good show. Mike Smith was pissed. I can't that. say it was, you know, smoked footage or anything, but... <laughs> 
Ah, he was still learning back then. He's a lens man. That lens will make you better, brother. Ah. Yes, sir. Buy that shit now. Hey, man. Hey, man. Everything is a learning process, dude. And a money process. It's all good. I uh, love you're getting experience. You're 100% better than you were the first time we did a show together. Huh? You're 100% better than you were the first time, so... Thank you, sir. That means a lot coming from you, dude. Uh, thank you. It's growing, Fucking, growing. We got, uh... Yo, the Shaq thing, though. That's... that's you want to get back on that, yeah? That, that, that was like... Right, that so was that a was... throwback for me, dude. I saw that, and I was like, get out of here. I didn't think it was real at first, because, dude, I had the Shaq Diesel album. The, like, album, to me, that's still really plays. I like that album. Check Shaq this. isn't bad at all. He's actually kind of good. Kind of good, I'll say. Right. Better check this. I mean... Yeah. So he made it about LeVar Ball, who to me, like, is either A, like a marketing genius, and or B, a fucking lunatic. And like, he's got this thing called the Big Baller brand, where his two sons, his son was like the, the uh, second the second pick of the Lake, on the Lakers. Yeah. Uh, was it the second or third? I don't remember. But, so now he's going to be like the face of the franchise, kind of, uh, his son. And then he's got a youngest son who plays in AAU, he's in high school. And like he's being groomed for the league as well, but he, he's built the his brand around them. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So the one other Shaq, ones in UCLA right now. For some reason, did you look up why uh, he this one? No. So Shaq this Laval Ball, and uh, he's just another big dude. That's why. Nah, it's just because Shaq's the man, dude. Shaq needed to claim a spot. It's, you like, already have it open on the tab right next to that. I love Shaquille O'Neal. He's not bad, bro. Oh, he made a video for it. Get out of here. Alright. Shaq and rap, dude. Like, as a rapper. Hey, me and Melo are just him and Shaq. Shaq definitely rap. Yeah, he does. I'm, I'm Fushnickens, dude. No kidding. What up? You ain't like me, but you're not me. Kings in a fast rap back in like 94. Alright, right. shut up, man. You talked about the ball last one, dude. Dude's talking loud. I don't understand. Walk around like they the two big ball of tame. How you think that? I'm about to spit facts. I walk in Reebok in 92. I came out with the shacks. I've been doing this a long time. When you was averaging two points, riding a pine. You see my t-shirts. You see my feet work. It all a brand. That was me first. How many parades did I give them LA streets? How many yeah, rings dude. and Kobe? See, you thought we had beef. How many accolades? How many ceremonies? I had whatever I want. Like Tony, Tony, Tony. You beat me? That's a bunch of baloney. You think you mail, man? You ain't even check baloney. When did you play? Huh? What year? Oh, yeah, you played for Dallas. Every damn pier. Listen oh. here. They call me Steph Harden. I make the same salary as Steph and James Harden. 200 plus. 248. You do the math, man. Damn, my life is great. You want to battle these? You better have endurance. Before you crash, man, get that general insurance. Or get some icy hot. Rub it on your back. Before you break that, we go around with Shaq. Sit down, man. You be doing the most. You know your ass is barbecue chicken in the post. Unless you can beat Mike, then you can beat me. Wake that ass up. You having a dream. And we can back up. Apologize. And bow down to my stick, we'll send a statue hanging off the side of the building. Excuse me, arena. I feel like Martin with this flow. Damn, Gina. Uh. You've been caught up in a rapture. And when you watch your soul play, look up in the raptors. Mm. You see Magic Johnson. You see Jerry West. You see Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Damn, he was the best. Keep looking, man. I know best. you see this. Number 34 next to Gail Cush Rich. Big Daddy Kane. Huh? Cat stepping. I'm more like Will Smith. I am legend. Penny love me. Kobe hate me. They <laughs> ain't tell me Pat Riley was going to trade me. That ain't fade me. Nothing fade me. Jerry Maguire with this flow. Pay me. Who's saying it's right there? Born a brand trust. I am that. I hope you get the magic. My telephone effects. Two more things I got to say. You did a great job. What up? What up, Can I rock? A little up, Doc? Attitude, hella cool. Jump a wet, wet like two dots in the pool. I learned the game from William Wesley. You can never test me. Because when I'm done, they gon' going to me like Elvis Presley. Watching my daughter to step out of line. 
Shaq O'Neal, bro, greatest of all time. This is a game to me. This is not a sport. My name ain't Shaq. I'm the Black Michael Rappaport. And big baller brand t-shirts it. look uncomfortable. The Black Michael Rappaport. All right, so I think, <laughs> yo, I think that it was good. It's definitely good. Came out of time and did that. Mm, Definitely, they had better flow than Might he was rapping Could have right been now. like a minute shorter. He also rapped with Biggie, dude. That was like Biggie and Mike Ross mixed together. He Rick. does, yeah, he does resemble Rick Ross. His voice and flow does resemble Rick Ross a little bit. I got a helicopter. <laughs> Yo, uh, so you don't have a chopper. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> Listen, man. I, uh, I read the. the so, read what, why did he diss him anyway? He, I don't know. I, there was no real story behind it, I don't think. I think... Uh, actually, I'm going to look it up right now. Yeah, because, I mean, I, I know nothing about this supposed gift. I think it was uh, just for attention. You just Maybe gave me shit for long about it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you don't know just... about it? What I fucking showed you yesterday. Oh, LeVar was not impressed by the diss track, actually, so... Oh, well. well we're so, gonna, and, we're so gonna why find we out why he dissed him. Oh, yeah, yeah. What do you well, think well, about well, the diss? Yeah. I don't care what he thinks about. I don't give a fuck what anyone thinks about this. Everyone, everyone's going to say that this sucks. He went back to Shaq and said, people are still doing yeah, diss tracks. Say, oh, good. That's what he said. Wow, he really Shaq. killed my career right That's there. That's what he <laughs> said about Shaq. He said, people are still doing diss tracks. <laughs> so, so Shaq released it on Friday via TMZ. And it samples Jay-Z's blueprint. Um, I thought that sounded Yeah. Still has an answer to our question. So... He says that he says that Sha Shaq was, threw down some smack about Ball's two point average while riding a pine of Washington State during his meager college career back in the late eighties. The reason Yes, did, we know that. We listened the to the fucking diss. Yeah. Was yeah, because he's responding to Levi's claim that he could beat him in one on one. He uh, said he could beat Michael Jordan too. Michael yeah. Jordan just He said rap. that in the diss too. Did. Yeah, so says Paul. He said, said you think you could beat Michael Jordan, you could never beat me. So he infamously said he could beat Michael Jordan in a one-on-one -on -one game. He's the father of the Lakers rookie Lonzo Ball, UCLA freshman, LiAngelo Ball, and Chino High Star LaMelo Ball. He started Big Ball and Brand, like I said, in which it also sells merchandise from like shoes to clothing and all that. So Shaq took those shots at his family's like brand and <laughs> Why are you saying this? I'm gonna punch you right in the face, dude. Not really, dude. I'm gonna punch you right in the face. Do you interrupt at the worst times every time? Uh, why? We were looking for the question. We asked you why he did it. I was getting there because we never described any of that. So what I was gonna do is chop that fucking audio and put it in the beginning of the video. We never talked about any of it. We just jumped right into it. Codfall. What up, Nick? Just card, please. <laughs> Oh my god. So wait, we did Godfall. talk about it and go into it. And then we were summarizing at the end. Yeah, I know. Go ahead. Are we done? What are we doing? No. Go ahead, Nota. Talk. What about it? This is why I like to be behind the camera. Because I, I, I now know what Mike Ross feels like every week. Dude, you just completely jumped off subject. Dude. <laughs> is it just being in this chair or is it because Mike Ross is Mike Ross like I feel bad every week yet 14 weeks in a row I know you needed this week off I'm like, get, catch, catch yourself a breather you know what it is what it is what it is what it do here we go got people talking shit in the background no one's saying anything he's gonna be with somebody has shirt but if I had my choice I'd wear a Ren and Stimpy t-shirt dude I'd say Ren and Stimpy would be with some butthead. I like them both. Hmm. What do you think? Ren and Stimpy would be with some butthead. Ren and Stimpy. Yep. Jordan? I like Ren and Stimpy, but Beavis and I mean, uh, it's tough to choose. There's more man. episodes, more content with Beavis and Butthead, but episodes, yeah. it's just them yelling but, videos. So. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, exactly. Well, that's what I liked about it the most is because of music videos and stuff like that. But Ren and Stimpy fucking was Classics. a great show. We watched it all the time. My mom and my uncle would be laughing at parts that I didn't understand quite yet. Like, that's how young I was. I was like watching it and they'd be like, and then I go back and watch it now and I'm like, oh my fucking, what? Yeah. <laughs> like, <Yeah>. what? <laughs> this is a scene? Like, this is happening on a cartoon right now? You seem to be on Nickelodeon? Like, what is this? <laughs> It was cool though. It was very, very good. So show. running Stimpy over. I I wouldn't say one or the other. I yeah I I it depends on my mood. Depends on me being 
uh, in the mood to watch this and in the mood to watch that. I don't like to choose one over the other. I think I know what I like. All right. And I don't like to put it into. I'm like, oh, depending on my mood, I could listen to that again. No, I would have watched you. I'm a bees of the kind of Because you never watched Ren and Stimpy. I did watch it. I didn't like it. Did you watch it when you were a kid, though? Yeah, I watched both. They both when came out when I was a kid. Yeah, hi. You never had like the DVD collection like I did, or like the first like six seasons, dude, and like watched them all the time. You got pissed when you lost them because you had to move. So that's what happened to me. So now I just thank God for you because right, you sold them. Probably, probably did. They were probably they were probably under the pads yeah. of my mother's couch when I took them home. <laughs> when I took them to trade them yeah. for drugs. But yeah, that was you know that was the least of like the worst I did, dude. But I'm not ashamed to talk about any of that. You stole some dude's lawnmower too. I heard. It's probably a couple of them. <laughs> I would, I would walk him down Main Street in Brockton, dude. After mowing someone's lawn, I would walk away with it and then take it right to the trade. Well, we're glad you're better. Thanks, yeah. me too. Yeah, yeah. 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 You're sitting on this road if you want. No, <laughs> That's true. Hey, man, I paid my rent early this month. What? There you go. Yeah, man. So, Gordon Lloyd, what do you, what do you got coming up besides the shows? Uh, I mean, well, you got a video coming out with Sando. I will be. I think we're going to talk about that, definitely. We're going to uh, do some promo work maybe together. Um, Oh. I'm going to see what's going on because I got, I got ideas. Like right now, they're just ideas. I want to set them up, make sure they're concrete and ready to go. But uh, I got another show September 9th at the Brockton Fairgrounds. It's the Remember September uh, Festival that Aiden Reardon puts on. Yep. And, uh, Shout out Aiden Reardon, the AI Reardon, Project. AI Project. What's up, guys? Homies. They uh, really hold it down out there. Yep, for like that Reardon scene. And stuff like that. His dad's cool shit. But, uh, so we have that. That'll be fun. There'll be a bunch of different bands. You guys can come out. Like, there's beer there. There's, um, you know, I think there's hot dog. I think there was hot dogs last year. I don't really remember. 420 friendly? You can come get your drink uh, and your snack 420 on. 420 friendly? Um, I'm not sure. I'm sure you could. There's, there's plenty of people there that probably did. I just, you know, just in the parking lot <laughs> when no one was paying attention. But, um, yeah, it's a good place. Um, and then down, we'll be down Epicure again. Uh, we'll play some Bridgewater. Yeah, it's a That's wine a and jazz, jazz bar. bar. Yeah. Wine and jazz bar. It's they a different do, type of scene over it's there. It's different. It's dark. It's tight. It's cool. It like, feels like the 1930s or 40s. It, yeah, it's like, so but they're there? so cool. Like, like yeah. Mike Bass. Uh, I forget. It's, I think that's how you say his name. I'm sorry, Mike, if I'm saying it wrong. But anyway, he's the owner of Epic. He's cool as shit, man. He's like, he's really like about his beers and his like um, his taps, which is cool. Like he's really like big on collecting the beer taps, which is awesome. Um, he's got like a million of them, and the, the place is like one in a million. Like you, they're not gonna find another place like this around. So it's pretty cool. We'll be down there September. <laughs> forget the date. It's either fourteenth or twenty third. I should know that. But Adam can fi fill me in on that later. He's been taking care of a lot of the gigs. Yeah, I got it. We have a technical difficulties there. No, he's a shithead over there. I don't know what the fuck <laughs> it happens. We're all a bunch of shitheads. Okay. Brian says we recorded into two. Yeah, that's what you got coming up for music? Anything good? Uh, yeah, I got my mixed hit coming out like, cool. in like a month or two. Yeah? It was supposed to come out this month, but... I Say hello to Lawrence. Sir. You look like, you look no, like Sean Smoke right now. Who, <laughs> oh, me? Yeah. Dude, I can't even believe you're going to move the fucking location of the camera. You just, now everything's going to be off from what nah, you shot move earlier. back, dude. What? No, that's not the same spot. I got you, though. <laughs> not really, I got you. That's awesome. So What's our next spot. topic? When you're filming something got? like this, it stays in one spot and never moves um, again. Sorry. Right. You're right. No, you're right. right. Let's talk about the R. Kelly cult. R. Kelly's a pimp, dude. dude just I play think up. all of those girls... No problem. I, I think all the girls that Still are involved up in the head, are willingly involved for whatever reasons. I think the internet is... A, see, people don't really like to think about it on this level, but I will get into it if you allow me to. I think that the girls involved possibly... Like you said, there's something psychologically going on, and I think the internet has a lot to do with it. When they're exposed to whatever they want to be exposed to, and then they start exploring whatever they want to, like, porn-wise, because that's what people do sometimes in their spare time. They get ideas in their head, and then these fantasies occur in their mind, and if they come encounter with somebody who has a lot of money, who seems to be trusted, because he's a, he's a name who's established for years, he's known, he's got, you know... 
He's known to be a freak. I mean, he's too. just a sicko. He has enough money not, and okay, enough credibility to get away with anything. Talk, why is Fifty Shades of Grey so fucking popular with fucking America? Because it's white people. And it's S&M. Because it's but, white people. But I Kelly can't have his own little S&M fucking Because he's black. Shit going on. Like, what, that's, to dude, that's doing. definitely why. Like, I hate to say it. Like, I'm not... I don't care about either thing because I don't get involved in that shit. This off a parent that was concerned for a girl that doesn't want to listen to her parents anymore and is of age to make her own decisions. That's what I'm saying. And that's the end and of it. And R. Kelly will... And then the media blew it up because he pissed on a girl once, he's a fucking rapist, and he's blocking up girls. Well, look, look, let's not remember about Bill Clinton, though. Like, let's forget all about all that. I don't it, but <laughs> uh, it is what it is. Like, it's just funny how the media treats things a lot. Yep. And then if you talk about it, people get so like on their toes, like, oh my god, you can't... the whole world's politically correct now. Like, it's you can't well, say anything off yeah, color or off. Oh, that's that's it makes me still sick. sick fuck, Everyone's dude. scared to be yourself. Yeah. Well, you can also look at old dogs, dude. Old There's dogs don't ways change. ways to look at it, dude. Like, yeah. you can look at it one way or the other. Like, the, right, right. like I said, I think the girls, they're not there against their will, dude. And now Kelly's just doing what he, he believes. He took their cell phones. No. That's probably Didn't what they, 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 they knew that when they walked they in the door, I guarantee you. What evidence? And it, know, exactly, man. but yeah. even if he did, they knew that coming in the door, dude. Because the media told you? Yeah, that's true. That's part of the plot. Like, that's part of the whole role play, dude. Like, that's part of the whole thing. Well, kind of They're living in a little fantasy world. Let me just tell you this. You get to, if you ever get to the status of, of, of the fame he's at, you watch the shit that comes out of the fucking woodwork about you. Yeah. And your nose that you know isn't true. But you watch how they twist that around. They always make it oh, uh, make blow uh, things out of the Wouldn't be portion. fucking around with a bunch of girls. Regardless of the situation. Yes, you would. You're right, it doesn't matter. Oh, like, I wouldn't. I'm talking about how this is. Yeah, I'm you talking about how this is. I haven't done that in. You could piss one off, and all of a sudden you are that guy, too. At yeah. the same time. That's why you gotta be careful with the people you fuck. Mm. It's just. Either way, they're going to talk shit. Here's an just, example. Just I, can take a, I can take the interview I shot of you, and I can cut that up and make you look horrible. Yeah, I'm sure. And, and make you look bad and make you look like a racist. Just by cutting words and putting them together yeah. a certain way, it can be manipulated, is what I'm saying. Yeah. It what? always has been. That's what the media does. They, they call it TV programming because it programs you in subconscious ways. That's my opinion, of course. We don't have to believe me. Why do fish swim in schools? Yo, what Is happens when... What happens when, like, this whole shit just actually boils down? Like, when when shit really goes down, what actually matters? I don't know. That's a real life... Exactly, dude. That's you your problem. D Derek, I'm not even being an asshole. All right, you just came on here. Just the most know. random right. question ever. Sorry. Well, when it all goes Sorry. down is what you're when saying. When it all goes down. What look goes out the down? window. When you die. You pi I picture right now, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. Let me just explain. Like, they put Trump in, like, a North Korea type art. Like, you know the art that, like, the cartoon type that North Korea has? They did that when, like, had Donald Trump starting some shit and, like, it had, like, nukes. And then we just get the news that they're able to reach Boston and New York. So, with that being the news that we talked about on today's podcast, what are you saying like actually matters to you in your life I'm when shit boils die. down like I'm when it all goes die. down what are you going to do what is, is what's die. going on huh so i'm not scared of that you won't even see it coming but <laughs> or those what visions that you the aftermath of it all what would you do about that where would you go? Like, if you were left over in the aftermath, like, after everything went off, that's when your survival skills like, like, come into play. Survive, yeah. like, survive. That's it, right. Okay. You have to. Right, exactly. If you can't handle the pressure, well, see you later. Just fall and die. Smash some rock. Do you give up or do you have the will to live? Yeah, no, exactly. Live. That's what it is. Do you live? I live, but I wouldn't be then scared of that. Watch out for people like Negan and the governor and all those other people. Yep, all them politicians <laughs> shit, you know? You're good. You got that's a real, though. That's there true. will be people like I'm that. Good It'll too. be like... Uh, Multiple guns. It'll be like yeah, um, what's that movie? <laughs> when the yes, Purge so right. and The Walking Dead mixed. The Purge. Yeah. <laughs> like. Purge is happening now. People just. Walk what kind of guns did you shot? Oh so, yeah. Right. Oh, the thing about Donald Trump that I forgot to mention yeah, sure, is, did you see the video I sent? He was encouraging police to get to 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 not loosen oh. it up on thugs. He's. He bashed, he said, dude. No, he didn't say, listen, yeah. he didn't say he bashed. And he he said, subjects again. listen, yeah. In the middle is, of talking. Well, it's all right. We're just going. We're going with you it. Go um, you go. If you go back to a subject, he cuts it and it goes back over there. What is the problem? Yeah, just cut it up. Um, so, yeah, Donald Trump said that 
The, he, he pretty much encouraged police brutality. Play the clip. I, okay, if here's anything, the thing. If anything, he's making more work for himself. Okay. So you shouldn't even worry about but it. But here's right. the thing about that. Is like, that's his side, right? My side on seeing that video, that's not what I picked up. Like, that he's giving okay permission. He's saying, if this dude murdered a guy. He said he gave permission. Yeah, no, but he's saying, if this dude murdered a guy, and you do that thing where you put his put your hand on his head so he doesn't hit his head okay. walking in. Yeah. Uh, let's, let me finish. Go ahead. You're always yelling at him for you know, interrupting you. Right. Um, Fair enough. Yes. The thing is, like, you, he, all he said was, just remove the hand. He's like, I, if they hit their head, oh, oh well. You there's, know what I'm saying? No okay. you, you're going to read into that because that's your mind. Nobody else is going to read into I'm that like that. To, well, I'm when I say no, but I shouldn't say. He's just yeah. saying he doesn't, you know, he just wants you to go, boom, like, That's oh, oh, whatever. That's the friendly, like, correct way. Dude just murdered a guy. How you feel about it? I'll now, now, my question to you. My question for you is, let me ask you this question. Okay, well, that's good. Let me ask you this question. Yeah. So, Trump says, yeah, if you murdered a guy, yeah, that's what to do. Okay. No, he didn't say that's what In general, do. no. No, he didn't. You know, not, that's not, not the point of what I'm trying to make, though. aggressive, okay. like, you know, like Let's extremist. present the way you presented exactly. it, and that's okay. I'm an not extreme way. I'm about to ask a different question. Yeah. Let's bring up a different point. A lot of times when people are just accused of murder, like, say they, say they just want a reason. Like, well, that's been okay. done before. They just want a reason, like, to accuse somebody. Mm -hmm. So, they're going to say, oh... This is shooting. We already saw gunshots around the corner. He looks like he could have done it. Let's now take him down. And now we have... That's not a conspiracy. That's well, what's been done. I mean, yeah, but you, you're also putting it in... I just have a real big problem with it. I'm sorry. No, I got you. You're passionate about it, and I feel you. That's why. Um, I'm just saying, like, it didn't seem like he was condoning police brutality. He was... You know, the problem is everyone's so quick to be offended by this guy. Everyone's so quick to... No matter who's up there... We're all gonna find Everyone's shit quick to be about offended it. by police too. Do it. Like this, the thing Which is, like, okay, so know. why do we still have a president? Why do we still have it's old this school shit? It's exactly, not, it just needs to be eradicated it and, does. and be done. We have the internet. We don't need. We constant, need yeah. to like evolve on our own, and we don't need leaders telling us what to do. We are our own leaders. He's just bro. a puppet anyway. Yeah. Whatever. If he does his job. He says what he thinks people want to hear with these funny, like these funny fucking, you know, like weird imagerisms and stuff. But it's not yeah, a trusted he's a distraction. Committee. He's like, hey, look over here. This is what they're doing. Oh, you look voted for clown. me. Hi. We represent, I represent you. They say, look at this guy. We're going to do something over here. You know? Like, why are you not paying attention? So I just think it's all, you know, like, what he's saying, I don't I take it out on the actual president because I right. know it's not. It's not. He's not in control once he's in the White House. He's not a dictator. Like, why don't we understand that? Like, like hey, he's doing something funny. Watch him. Watch him bounce around and you make funny things. Twitter, <laughs> no, you probably shouldn't. You really shouldn't be doing this. The yeah. things he says are not personal. <laughs> no, I'm embarrassed when we see that shit. I'm like, oh, God. Yeah. This is our country being portrayed like this. That's why I'm wondering where is it going, yeah, man? Uh, no, they are. That's the problem now. Noda hates know. hearing this. Noda's chomping at the bit right now. No, it's so. all right. Do you feel that way? Oh, no. 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 Took it, high. it was a lot of energy sucked out. I was feeling this quiet for the whole time. I yeah, can yeah. understand that. Sorry. He feels passionately about his way. That's I understand. I understand. Yeah. So, I think there has to be someone in charge, otherwise it's going to be a bunch of fucking animals, dude. Yeah, they're, they're and the strongest survive. There has to be something in charge. Really but that, that, that was when person. it was like, that was when there was like 30,000 people to take care of, dude, when no. they created this shit. No, fucking however many 30, the population was in 1776, when they, well, whenever it was when they had the first president in the United States, right? Lot was that when the that. Declaration of Independence was, well, here's was, my thing, was written? Man. That was when uh, a guy in like a small Senate in Congress was able to control and get real votes from people and not have like financial Do you interest. understand that but they now made it's out of all these laws prepare for the future, not for right now? Yeah, like they uh, gave us the right to bear arms in case the government decided to fuck and us. Says and now the they're trying to take the guns away and the no, government's not trying, trying to, fuck to take us. the guns away. Oh, the, the, they're, they're, they're doing the, the gun opposite. buyback program. You're getting a little. Whoa. Democrats were trying to take guns away. Republicans are trying to well, give you guns. Bro. Hey, left wing, right wing, same bird. Well, here's my no? thing. No? No? Hillary Clinton was trying to take away guns. Donald Trump was See, trying to give you Sean, guns. I'm going to give you, get both of you stuff. The reason why people don't like talking about politics is because of that. What exactly. you just did right there makes everybody uncomfortable. Why do I care? Listen, 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 listen. You were just ready Let to get me talk. uncomfortable. You always told me that. Yeah, you do that, you get so angst up. This is why people don't like talking about politics. Because one person always starts getting so passionate, not listening to facts. This is what happens. You start talking over him, he starts talking over you. You both don't, you both clash. Your exactly. ideas don't work together. Yeah. They just fucking smash together. So, so, here's the thing. 
Your opinion is your opinion, your opinion is your opinion. They're all opinions. None, yeah. none of that matters when it comes down to it. So if you can't sit there and talk about it and have an intelligent, decent conversation about it without talking over each other, nothing gets accomplished. Right. So you have your views. He has his. You were expressing yours. You were expressing yours. Exactly. So yeah. talk yours and let's, let's keep going because I'm cool yeah. with that. Like that's what I want you to hear. I want to hear what you have to say. Let's do it. Yeah. The government is not trying to take away guns. They're trying to give you guns now. The Democrats... We're trying to take away guns. That was Hillary Clinton's biggest thing. You ever hear Trump talking about that? Hillary's saying, not president. No kidding. He said the government was trying to take away guns. Yeah. What? You ever heard of the like uh, the buy, not the buyback program, but like when they're like, oh, if you get, get guns, you give them give them to the police. Democrats. Yeah, let's just give our guns away to the police and like unarm Democrats. ourselves. It don't matter if it's Democrats or Republicans. That's not my point. It's, it's an idea, is what he's saying. It's somebody I don't care else what side's and, doing it. Yeah. So it's being that's done. What, yeah. Well, see, and that's where the thing is. Like, you have two different parties. He's so actually, you have three different parties, it, moving it, right? On. You have three it's different parties. Two different parties. These these parties will never get along because they won't. That's like the, what they've taught us. These two parties, two completely yeah. different people. When they're not, we're all humans. We all have similar morals and values and beliefs. But like, because there's always Republican versus Democrat, it doesn't work. I say this is actually an idea from my friend. I can't take credit on this. We have three presidents. One person elected from the Republican candidate. One Change party. Change. One president elected from the Democrat and one from the Independent. That way it comes a down majority. to a majority. That's a good idea. You know what I'm saying? That is a good idea. Fuck that. Like, why, why does one guy get to say? That's why Republicans and Democrats always don't get along. Because it, my president won, not my president. Uh, I didn't vote for him. I voted for the other guy. It's uh, a like, circus. We're but all no, just trying to tell each other. It's not really it's that. not really a circus, though, because if you look now at um, like the, the House and the Senate and all that, mm -hmm. when they have to pass laws... John McCain basically said fuck you to Trump right to his face. Yeah, good for he him. He walked up there. He was the deciding vote for the health care bill. Mm -hmm. He walked up, didn't say anything, just put his hand out like this, and went, no, and walked away. No shit. Legit, didn't say anything besides no, and walked away. He said things afterwards, but... No, he didn't. You no, know, he talked about it afterwards. Oh, well, yeah, I know, but during the vote, oh, like, like, he, he just walked mic, up, just no. Did they know about the drop and say a bunch of stuff about it? Is that how it normally goes? I've never seen anyone do it like that. <laughs> hey, so after that, let me answer my own question. Sin it tonight. I'm Don Lemon. Our breaking news right now: the Republicans, Obama, and one of those Republican. who voted no was Senator John McCain. Right there. Mr. Peter, move your arm. Yeah, that was abused. That was boss like. Was that? Oh, okay. Well, the G'd up on the feet up. Don't care. Those are all Democrats Making up clapping. Making fuck ups. Mr. Portman. That's all Democrats clapping. So that was John. John McCain so hates Democrats. Amount, 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 he just amount, likes. Why would the Republicans clap? My camera's done. <laughs> just got shut down. Of course not going to go Well, I know, but still, it's like, it was a terrible deal. Can I tell you? Terrible deal. That's still the rich people are not paying a lot of taxes. Derek, what are they going on? Gordon, Sando. What? With all that going on, that right there. Yeah. The, 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 the divide that we see. That's all part of it. That's all part of the plot for people to be separated and not live in unity. So to me, when it all goes down, the only thing that matters to me is, is love. That's all that matters to me and happiness. That's all I want. Mm -hmm. Give me that, I'll be good. What makes you happy? That's the question. A lot of different things, but it's about staying happy, dude. I can be temporarily happy a lot. Happy, happy is a fleeting emotion. You're always chasing it. So if you're always trying to be happy, you'll never be happy. You're just exactly. Happy. You just you, you like the happy you just live. Is, happiness is fleeting. Yeah, you can't live to be happy. You just gotta live. There's That's always ups. There's always downs. No matter what, you just gotta get through and know the next day. We'll try it differently. We'll try to do better. That's all. I appreciate you coming here, dude. I appreciate you guys having me. How long we got? Do we have a lot more talk? <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. We're and Sando's here. We appreciate that. <coughs> Coughing his lungs out. Drooling all over the place. What <laughs> we got? Uh, hour six, but I got 20. Spiel can say whatever the fuck they want about Trump, dude, but NASDAQ's... Oh, yeah, Speaking of all that, that shit, boosted 20% Let him bring this up, though, the NASDAQ and stuff.
Get into that a little bit. The economy is like at an all time high right now. So gas prices will go down, prices of things, taxes will go down then? I don't know about gas. What does that mean for the common person? I'll tell you it means that, yeah. if you need a job, you can go out there and go get a job. Don't fucking problem. Okay. Complaining about like your if pay, you have a degree and find a job. Depending. Like in certain fields, like specific fields, is that what you mean? Depending, you can get construction. Or you jobs go to the Dollar Tree and fill an application. You can get. Uh, no, it's just it's basically tough. saying that last year there was fucking ten companies hiring for your position. Now there's fucking thirty, okay. it 30 companies hiring for your position. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that. A lot more work out there. That's true. Especially That's trade, too. If you, if you want to be a plumber, dude, that plumber is going through the roof right now. I know people that are months behind. Right. Months. Yeah. That position, you can definitely get a job in right now. And it's really quick, too. Like, so you got to go all the faucet up. You make 300 bucks, you're in there for fucking 10 minutes. But then you got to deal with poop sometimes. Yeah, well, it depends what kind of plumber you are. If you're a guy <laughs> that goes into, like, brand new houses... Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. You're fucking. Sure. Like, you don't have to worry about that shit. Sometimes the weather sucks though because you're you're fucking in the attic and it's a, 110 the degrees attic. outside and it's 130 degrees inside. Right, 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 right. Where you're in the winter time, you're out and fucking right next to the water. It's wicked windy and it's fucking 20 degrees that's out, right. but with the wind chill, it feels like negative 11. That too. Yep. And you're fucking sitting there like, I can't fucking do this unless I take my gloves off. But I take my gloves off, I can't feel my fucking fingers. Right. I mean, fuck. it's just more jobs, more jobs, more jobs. I mean, I There's I no get perfect it. job. No, of course not, you know. There's no I mean, perfect job. I mean, eventually, the problem is, like, eventually it becomes just a job. Like, at first, like, you're learning, you're doing stuff, you're getting good at it, you feel proud, and then all of a sudden, like, you're, like, 20 years in, and you're like... I'm still doing this? Yeah. <laughs> like, then it's like, oh, fuck, like, what do I do now? And... That's the that's thing. That's the problem with though. You shouldn't be doing the same job you did 20 years no, ago. No, exactly. You should be moving on and trying something else, but it's so hard. You should hard. be managing people that were doing your job 20 years that ago. That or, yeah, exactly. Like, you think, like going further into it or, or managing learning something else. managing the people that were managing you that was managing your manager when you were there oh, 20 years Management, <laughs> management. Yeah, and then that's when the CEO part No, you are, you're, you're consumed by this materialistic consumerism world. Yeah. <sighs> You are materialistic. Do you see the in a way? Color I drive? I'm, not, I'm not saying you're like high. Materialistic. I'm not saying fucking, like you're like one window works. My God. No, nah, it's not like you're like one the, door doesn't it's work. It's not like you're like the um like the girlfriend that's like high maintenance. Like not that. Like it's just like what you see, you believe. Like I don't think you look beyond it much. And I feel like with age that might change, and I hope it does, and I think it will. No, because I've never seen God before, but I believe in Him. Well, sure I have. I guess I have. I've seen shit happen. That's like, that's the only one. Everyone got their own experience. I just want to try to tell you from experience, like, that there's more to it than meets the eye. That's all. But then I'm very open minded, but I'm not I know you are. open minded as fucking stupid shit. Stupid. Hey, man. People have opinions. That's what makes yeah. it. Yeah. You guys who have watched the BFG, Sando. Big fucking guy? The big friendly giant. Steven Spielberg and Walt sports. Disney. I thought it's just a big fucking giant. No, <laughs> big friendly giant, dude. It's a, yeah, it's a, I, don't watch kids I watched it, things. dude. It, it's. I have barely enough time to watch what I like. Hey man, if you want to sleep on the BFG, he I'll might come visit you and maybe and dreams. because he's spending just so much like time watching the, the BFG, <laughs> that's why he's having these. It's my filmmaking things. skills that I'm looking at with the scene cutting and. I got, I got a couple plugs if that's all right with you guys. Yeah, it's been dead. I told you guys. I have the extra batteries, you dumb. Cunt. And I'm out of space. I have no stores still. I have extra cards, fuck face. Well, come on, let's get it. You are a fucking door. I didn't want to interrupt the podcast. Like, really. This has got good Did segments. Is a fucking pause button? Huh? No. Uh, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not a good one? Uh, I have a bunch of juice in my mouth. Oh, I hate that shit. Dude, my, there was this brand of juice that I got that just kept leaking all the time. Oh my god, it sucked so much. And it I never it. did this, but does that mean I need a new um, spring? New spring? Oh, whatever, coil. coil? Oh. Listen, I uh, saw a fucking picture of a kid that blew his face off with a fucking one of these. Yeah. He, like nine teeth blew out, his whole orbit of bone crushed. It's horrible to look at, but ever since I've seen it, Every time I go to, I'm waiting for the thing to fucking again. I can't shake it, dude. No I can't shit. get rid of it. No kid, it's in your head. I have it's to show you guys the picture, so seen, you have you I've have to be with my pain too. These blow up. I, well, I've seen the picture. No, well, of the one. problem was either the battery was a shitty battery. It starts to unpeel. You don't want to fuck around yeah, with those. You if exactly. you overcharge the battery, if you mix yeah. it with a fucking, um, the wrong fucking coil, coil, yeah, open yeah. your face. Yeah. This can start yeah. a car. This yeah. fucking battery. Yeah. 
It ain't no fucking joke. Don't carry it around loose in your pockets or any of that shit. I always lock it. I caught on fire once. Well, I have a plastic case for my spares because fuck you don't want to fuck around. This is why I smoke cigarettes, dude. Yeah. 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 Never uh, had that problem with cigarettes. Place. I'd rather live with a dysphagic face than not be able to breathe. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Me not breathing too. sucks. Yeah, not breathing does, does suck. I've seen people at the end of their life. It's not a good time. So my last set, still smoke cigarettes. Hey, no, you did a pretty good job. By the way, I gotta give bombs to fucking Dean Oder and it's not muzzle fucking performance because he killed it. Yep. Oh, yeah, he, he actually decided it. to do his fucking set so by it and it was oh, all awesome. different. No, he just didn't uh, drink it. He, so he didn't tell the drink. fucking audience uh, to so fucking well. leave and didn't they didn't like his song. That oh, was, no, that's what, that was a when I say so, I didn't drink alcohol. That's what I mean. You didn't drink, but you smoked so Yeah, but the, yeah, the alcohol is what changes the view. Yep. Yeah. 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 Be yeah. Like, you yeah. can fucking ice smoke weed and shoot fucking dope videos like nothing. Like, Big I time. I had no problem with that. Yeah, yeah no. Weed's nothing. I couldn't do bumps of Special K and do it, though. <laughs> uh, I tried that. It's yeah. fucking, it just yeah, looks like that. smoke filming. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, uh, this guy over here. Jokes. You got jokes. Man. Fucking dude. The one thing I don't like about this is it gets me so fucking hyped up. My cigarettes do don't hype me up, they fucking mellow me out. Who, what? Hyped up? What do you mean? What do you, what's your nicotine level? Three. Shouldn't. Jeez, I was on 24 at one point. How do you think I was? I was on 20. I was on 18. What? I was on 18 for a long time. Yep, man. we yeah, started. Yeah, Bob Reds, man. That's just, uh, That's what started the there. I smoked new puts, man. I was 18. But it tastes better the lower you go, the yeah. better it tastes. Yeah, exactly. that's, that's why I like it. But it's it. also the more you smoke, too. True. Because I will pick Every time I go bar. down, I end up buying two more bottles than I usually do. How often do you go through bottles? It depends two on the size. Two a week? Yeah. Fucking smoke cigarettes. Huh? Are you kidding me? What? Yeah, go through one two bottles week. a week? That's like 50 bucks. No, it's two, 19 times two. And I buy one, get one free every Monday. So how am I losing out? I buy one, get one half price. So how much money is that? 30 bucks? Yeah. Fucking smoke cigarettes. Okay, it was 70 to smoke cigarettes yeah, a week for me. What fucking cigarettes are you smoking? Barbara, Reds. Fucking go switch the menthol. You smoke, smoke a pack and a half a day. I smoke a new pot, that's the same price. Right? It's like 10 bucks a day. It's all, it's, it's You're smoking a pack a day? Yeah, dude, I drive all day. I used to smoke up to two when I was on the methadone clinic. Oh, you do both? Good. Oh, no, I used to. I used oh. to smoke. Used to we went, dude. I started vaping like in 2014. A lot cheaper. I started vaping in 2014. Three days. And I probably oh, bought probably like I, I bought like two packs of cigarettes yeah, a week for like years. A week. Or a pack and a half. I've had the same bottle for like a month, and I'm too. halfway through it. And I haven't bought more than too. ten packs in the last three so years. That takes away what you need to do with this. That's real. Why would you even bother getting it if you're not gonna quit fucking? Because he's trying to be positive. I'm cut down, and my endurance has gone through the fucking roof. Jordan Lloyd. I might actually put. Well, what time are we gonna play? Um, Five. Oh, you back on? And I have my glove with me too. Yeah, Fuck yeah. Back on. Are you Let's finishing? You back yeah, on. I'm not paying though. I don't have any money. I have nothing. Wrap it up. All right. I legit have nothing. I have fucking like ten bucks until Friday. Not full time. I got a quick say no films plug. Of course. Hey, come on over here, <clears throat> Jump in. So next weekend I'm off to Brooklyn uh, to film the tribute for MCA at the Beastie Boys. Uh, John Moody from Dress Fashion is going to be there, and Rose Glenn as well. So Boston will be representing. What we film is going to be part of a documentary. Uh, also, for next following weekend, I'll be going with Sean Smoke and Hush. And I think Profan and Tom next in, and we're heading to New Jersey to film three ciphers with motherfucking Cassie. Sick. Hey! And I think I'm also going to be doing it off the mic with Los Fidel while I'm out there, and possibly Passionate MC. Yeah. Well, that's dope. Sando yeah. puts that work in, man. Cool, man. Don't fuck around. Yeah, really, don't fuck around, dude. It's a good guy to have. That's a pretty sick, so when you cut that, it's going to fade out because of the smoke. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's. And then it got blurry, so. Yeah, exactly. Well, you, you still doing the podcast, you're done. It's over? Let's wrap it up. If you fucking talk about half the stuff, Yeah, we have some things to good. Say. What do we want? Is there any important... What else is that? Conor McGregor thing? We can talk about that. I mean, kind of, oh, there's I a care. lot of hype about it, yeah. It's like a lot of things going on with it. Let's talk about something different. What else you got? I get a good joke for you guys. Oh, so a little yeah. boy goes up to his dad. <laughs> little boy goes up to his dad and goes, Hey, Dad, what's a vagina? He goes... Come upstairs, son. He goes upstairs, pulls the cover over, and the wife's laying there naked. And he goes, right there, that's a vagina. And he goes, oh, cool, Dad. Dad, what's a cunt? He goes, 
The rest of her. Fucking finally, you got a joke that's good. What a good one. That's a good one. Oh man, I saw a video this morning. It would like it was asking a mad question. Uh, I'm trying to find it because it's worth it. Fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> fucking video questions. What else we got? Jay Z bonus track. Fuck Jay Z. Bonus what? what? No, that's the name of the song. Oh, bonus. Oh, yeah, it's one of his songs. Oh yeah, it's that's right. Track. That's true. It is. Hey. Yeah, yeah. That's true. That's uh, I mean, it's an interesting. No, album. I don't think it's fuck Jay Z. Is it kill Jay Z or? You kill Jay Z. Oh uh, so, yeah, I was wrong. I can admit it. I was wrong, track. dude. Fuck fuck Jay -Z. I'm not gonna get mad. Fucking boys, fucking track man. Dude, listen, I'm on West Coast. Guy. Clearly white snoop. Music. <laughs> white snoop. Hey man. And the There's truth! Like coming out of the West Shall Coast right now, free. Bro. Nipsey Hussle. Suck. YG. <laughs> Would you just watch that car? That was definitely on Oh, why? Is that who we listen to? I'm going to get better this time. Oh, really? Ready for one? That's terrible. I just breathe in like something fucking so. We're all retarded. <laughs> That's your fade out, right? That's there, how we're dude. saying bye. That's how we're gonna end the podcast. Hey. So we do have fade out. Oh no. Hey. You know, should have been shooting. You guys wanna end it? If you to be good. Don't we'll get this out of here. I'll do the right? end, the closing thing. What do we do? We do a, how do we close it? Is it we fun? do another timestamp. Why don't you stop stamp? that that recording? Change it to 59 frames and then redo that smoke cloud because your slow mo's will come out fucking thousand times. But... Well, I think we're, then we're doing this one. <laughs> oh, hey, you should start hitting your fucking prick. <laughs> oh, I found it. Thanks, B! Yo, yo, No Muscle Podcast episode fucking 14. We are out of here. You better fucking leave some comments down there. Chip! Chip. Say what? Vapor. <laughs> it's all weed, yo! <laughs> Get out of here! Yeah. <laughs> Up in a smoking garage, baby. We are here. It tastes like a big no, no, no muscle entertainment! <laughs>